Hey everyone, today I'm here to celebrate a major milestone, 30 days smoke-free. But let's rewind a bit. Before I could reach this point, I had to make a decision. A decision to quit. I was tired of the nagging cough, the shortness of breath, the way my clothes always smelled of smoke. I was tired of feeling trapped. It was a harsh truth to face, but I knew I was a prisoner to my addiction. The health scares added fuel to the fire. I would read about people suffering from serious health complications because of smoking, and I knew I didn't want that to be my story. So I picked a date, threw away all my cigarettes and lighters, and vowed to never look back. Let me tell you, the first week was brutal. Just imagine an itch you can't scratch, a thirst you can't quench, a hunger you can't satisfy, a relentless gnawing at me from the inside out, pulling me towards that familiar, comforting yet destructive habit. I was on edge, irritable, snapping at the smallest things. The world seemed to spin a little faster, the colours a little too bright, the noise a little too loud, looking flustered and confused. And then there was the focus, or rather, the lack thereof. It was like trying to catch smoke with bare hands. The nights weren't any better. I found myself in a surreal world of dreams, strange and vivid, where I was floating in a sea of cigarette smoke, or being chased by giant, menacing cigarettes. But amidst all the chaos and struggle, I was determined to stay the course. I found solace in healthy snacks, embraced the outdoors, and let's not forget the chewing gum, my constant companion. Yes, the first week was a roller coaster ride, a test of will and endurance. There were times when I almost gave in, almost reached out for that deceptive comfort. But I knew I had to stay strong. I knew that this was just the storm before the calm, the darkness before dawn. And as daunting as it was, I was ready to face it, head on. So, I held on, bracing myself for the journey ahead, a journey towards a smoke-free life. Gradually, things started to ascend. As I utter gradually, I mean it felt like I was moving like a tortoise. Yet, every minor triumph mattered. The cravings that used to be an insidious force began to diminish. They were present, of course, but their dominance was reducing. It was like an irritating background hum that slowly faded into oblivion. Transitioning to second week, I discerned that my senses were rejuvenating. Food tasted enhanced, and I could sense aromas that I had lost touch with. The scent of oven-fresh cookies was no longer overshadowed by the reek of smoke, and my morning coffee tasted richer and more gratifying. But it wasn't only the physical changes that were evident. There was a mental clarity replacing the perpetual fog. I felt more vigilant, more concentrated, and my spirit was increasingly more optimistic. I was no longer a captive of my addiction. I was liberating myself. The transition to the third week was a turning point. My energy levels skyrocketed. I was no longer breathless after climbing a flight of stairs, and I could exercise without incessant panting. And trust me, there's no euphoria greater than keeping pace with your friends on a hike without feeling that you're about to collapse. Now, let's talk finances. It's astonishing how much you can save when you're not persistently buying cigarettes. At the culmination of the third week, I glanced at my bank balance and was taken aback. The extra cash was a pleasant surprise. I rewarded myself with a brand new pair of running shoes, a modest token for my advancements. Quitting smoking is an odyssey, unique to each individual. But one fact stands tall. The gains massively overcome the hurdles, it's not a cakewalk, but it's worthwhile. So here's a toast to the breakthrough, to the victories, major and minor. And bear in mind, it is not about perfection, it's about progression. Furthermore, cash I saved from abstaining cigarettes was a delightful surplus. And don't misinterpret me, it wasn't smooth sailing all the way. As the cravings to decrease, social gatherings morphed into an intricate maze of temptations. Imagine this scenario. You're at a celebration, the flicker of lighters igniting cigarettes surrounds you, and suddenly you're extended a lit stick of temptation. It's easy to feel off balance, but this is precisely where groundwork becomes crucial. One of the biggest lifesavers in my journey was being open about my decision to my circle. Most people are incredibly supportive and hesitate before extending a smoke your way. And if temptation comes cloaked as an offer, remember, it's completely fine to decline. 
You're not being rude. You're prioritizing your health. And lastly, always plan an escape route for situations that test your resolve. If you find yourself wavering, it's perfectly acceptable to take a breather. Take a step back, recompose, and reignite your motivation of why you decided to quit in the first place. Always have an exit plan for triggering situations. 30 days later, the results are positively mind-blowing. My, nothing short of miraculous. My lungs, once gasping for relief, are now greedily inhaling deep, invigorating breath. It symbolizes my newfound freedom, liberating and unchained. With a close-up on my skin, pale and lackluster, now radiating a natural glow that no amount of makeup could ever emulate. The key here is the beauty that originates from within. Let me tell you, nothing illuminates you quite like a healthy body and a loving heart. I've triumphed over a beast, faced down a dependence that had a tight hold on me. The war wasn't easy, but crossing the finish line with victory makes me aware of my inner might. For all of you who find themselves in the same struggle, this is for you. Believe in your power. They're your pillars, lean on them when path seems treacherous. Conquer each craving as it surfaces. It shows you are mightier than your addiction. If you liked the video, consider subscribing this channel. Do you know hand sanitizers are affecting our brain health? Click here to watch the video.